Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we will implement multi-class MNIST digit recognition classifier with boosting. We will be using three boosting classifiers, AdaBoost classifier, Gradient Boosting classifier and XGBoost classifier. We begin by importing our usual Python libraries. We will be making use of matplotlib.pyplot for plotting. We will be loading dataset through MNIST. We will be training three classifiers, AdaBoost classifier and Gradient Boosting classifier that are implemented as part of sklearn.ensemble module. Then we have bunch of model selection utilities like trend test split and cross validation utilities. We will be using shuffle split cross validation for this exercise. We will make use of confusion matrix and classification report to evaluate the performance on the test set. And the model is defined through the pipeline utility. We begin by loading MNIST dataset with load underscore data function in MNIST class. We obtain training feature matrix and label as well as test feature matrix and labels. As you know, there are 60,000 examples in the training set and 10,000 examples in the test set. Each example is a grayscale image of size 28 by 28 and there are 10 different labels, one for each digit between 0 to 9. Before using the dataset for training and evaluation, we need to flatten it into a vector. After flattening, we have training and test example represented with 784 features. Each feature records pixel intensity in each of the 28 cross 28 pixels. We normalize the pixel intensity by dividing it with maximum value that is 255. In that sense, we have each feature value in the range between 0 to 1. We use shuffle split cross validation strategy with 10 folds and we set aside 20% examples as test data for model evaluation. We define two functions. One is train underscore classifier that contains common code for training classifier for MNIST multi-class classification problem. It takes estimator, feature matrix, label, cross-validation strategy and name of the classifier as input. It first fits the estimator with feature matrix and labels. It obtains, it obtains cross-validated F1 macro score for training set with tenfold shuffle split cross-validation and it prints it with these uh, two statements. The eval function on the other hand takes estimator, test feature matrix and labels as input and produce classification report and confusion matrix. It first predicts label for the test set, then it uses the predicted label for obtaining the classification report and in classification report we have precision, recall and F1 score for each of the 10 classes. It also obtains confusion matrix by comparing these predictions and display it with confusion matrix display utility. We will train two classifiers with default parameters, one is add a boost classifier and second is gradient boosting classifier. Add a boost classifier uses decision stumps as weak learner whereas gradient boosting classifier uses decision trees as weak learners. We instantiate an Adabus classifier with default parameters and train it with train underscore classifier function. The train underscore classifier function prints mean of cross validated accuracy and standard deviation of the train classifier on the training set. Here we see that the Adabus classifier model obtains F1 score of 0.712 with a standard deviation of 0.016 on the training set. And you can see that Adaboost classifier doesn't really get us that great classifier if you compare this with random forest classifier or bagging classifier that we saw in the previous collab. So there are a lot of confusions that are happening between different classes. For example, class 9 and 4 or class 7 and class 9 or class 5 and class 3 or class 6 and class 2. There are a lot of confusions and because of which the accuracy is merely 0.73 or 73%. Now here we have given the code for training the model with gradient boosting classifier and XGBoost classifier and 
as an exercise you should run this code and obtain the accuracy with with the gradient boosting classifier as well as xg boost classifier and compare it with the accuracy that you obtain through ada boost classifier so here what we have done is we have created a pipeline object with gradient boosting classifier as one of the stages and the gradient boosting classifier is instantiated with number of estimators equal to 10 and then we train the gradient boosting classifier pipeline with train underscore classifier function so what you have to do is you have to run this and find out what is the performance that we get and also run the evaluation pipeline and find out the performance on the test set from the gradient boosting classifier so gradient boosting classifier generally takes longer to run than ada boost classifier xg boost classifier on the other hand is expected to be efficient version of gradient boosting classifier it is very similar to gradient boosting classifier except that it performs regularization to obtain better generalization performance we can import the xgb classifier from xg boost module so xgb classifier basically implements classification with xg boost if you are interested in reading about documentation of xgb classifier you can you can access the documentation by putting the question mark followed by xgb classifier and if you run this cell you will get to see the documentation of this classifier so here we instantiate a pipeline object with xgb classifier as a classification stage and we train the xgb classifier with train underscore classifier function by supplying the estimator object the feature matrix label vector the cross validation strategy and name of the classifier so just like gradient boosting you also have to run this particular code and check out what is the accuracy that or what is the f1 score that we get on the on the training set as well as find out the accuracy on the test set and as an exercise compare the accuracies of ada boost gradient boosting and xg boost classifier so with this we have demonstrated how to perform classification with boosting techniques now you have three more classifiers in your tool set which is ada boost classifier gradient boosting classifier and xg boost classifier gradient boosting classifier and xg boost classifiers work well on structured data in many of the kaggle competitions we have seen that xg boost and gradient boosting classifiers give the state of the art performance whenever they are applied on structured data set